Alrighty, Chef Buck here, and today we're gonna make a super simple bean soup. Doesn't that sound awesome? Bean soup? It's just, just what you dreamed about when you were a child. So the first thing we're gonna do, boom, get us a pot, soup-sized pot, and we're gonna put it on a uh, medium-high heat. We're gonna heat up a little bit of oil, because we're gonna saute some onions and garlic first. So throw you in there, boom, you know, maybe a tablespoon or two of oil. Alrighty, so my oil's heated up. I'm gonna throw my onion in there. We're gonna let these go for a couple of minutes. What the heck, even before we let them go for a couple of minutes, I'm gonna throw my garlic in here. I got like five cloves of garlic here. But you need to follow your garlic heart on this one, as much as you want. So I got my onion and garlic in here, and I'm gonna saute it up for just a couple of minutes, all on the small spoon. When you was a kid, you know that saying, uh, kids always said, uh, beans, beans, they're good for your heart. The more you eat beans, the better you feel. You remember saying that all the time when you were a kid? Or did you grow up in a rougher neighborhood than I did? Our onions and garlic have been sauteing up here for a couple of minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some seasoning in here. Now this is all I'm putting. I got a little fresh ground black pepper, some salt, and a little bit of heat. This is some uh, chili pepper, but this is a uh, chipotle. You know, if you wanted to, you could put a fresh pepper in there. Last time I made this, I put a whole jalapeno in here. Season everything, and camera girl was less than thrilled. Cause she wasn't in a hot mood, you know. But this here will add a nice flavor. So stir your spices up into your onions. So we got our onions and garlic going there. What else do we want to put in? Beans! Let's see. Nah, we're not going to do our beans yet. We're going to put in our broth. This is a 32-ounce uh, container. I'm gonna go ahead and raise the temperature up, pour this in here and bring it up to a bubble. That's very inappropriate somehow. While our soup is coming up to a bubble over there, I'm gonna cut up a little bit of sausage. We got some leftover breakfast sausage, and this is already cooked up. You know, but if you don't have any sausage, you don't have to, you don't have to use that. You don't have to add any meat at all. But this is a nice addition, you know, for a nice little, little flavor and texture. But you could also use ham. I mean, some cooked ham, some smoked ham, that would be fantastic. I mean, ham and bean is a great combination. Our uh, soups come up to a bubble. Our onions and our garlic and our broth. We're going to take this sausage that's already been cooked up. And like I said, you could put any kind of uh, meat in here you want, if you want meat but you don't have to. And we're gonna, boom, we're gonna throw a bay leaf in there too. Because it's soup. And uh, bay leaf and soup, that's just a natural combination, right? Now we're gonna add in our beans. Alrighty, I got some cannellini beans. Two cans, I've already uh, rinsed and drained them, so I'm gonna throw my beans in here. These are white beans. Like I said, cannellini. But you know, that's kind of boring. I like cannellini beans for a bean soup, but you know, it's just needs a little pizzazz. So I'm gonna take one can of black beans. And when you add your black beans, only use the finest black beans. That being whatever's on sale. Who'da thunk it? Who'da, who'da? There you have it. Black and white beans living in harmony. I wish the world could be just like this, this soup. I mean, hand you a can of Coke. Alrighty, so we got our whole mess here. Come up to a simmer. We're gonna go ahead and reduce it down to a uh, low. And then we're gonna cover it up and we're gonna let it cook low and slow for about a half hour. You know, simmer away, get those flavors going. And you know, they will unite in a harmonious bean medley of joy. Lame. Here we are. It has been 45 minutes. You know, so a little bit more than half hour. Why? Mm. It doesn't really matter. I mean, soup, you can be loosey-goosey with soup. You know, I started watching uh, skateboarding videos on YouTube. Watching the fail. Yeah, it's, it's all about <laughs> skateboarders and poor decision skills. 
you know, and I had it on super duper low, you know, low and slow, and, you know, haven't really evaporated uh, much of our liquid. But if you did evaporate a lot of your liquid, you could just add a little bit more. You could add a little bit of water in there. But we're going to take our bay leaf out and discard that. This is pretty lumpy, junky, you know, there's lots of stuff in here. We got lots of beans, we got our sausage, we got our onion, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to zoom zoom it up. You know what? Uh, creamy. And uh, creamy it up a little bit. Not a lot though. You could creamy it up as much as you want to, but I do like it to have a little bit of texture, so I'm not going to do too much of that. Now, if you don't have one of these, if you don't have a little hand blender, you know, you could just, you could just, uh, take a few cups of this out and, you know, uh, liquefy it up in a blender, blender, blender type blender, but I'm using one of these. Thrift store, what was this, like three or four bucks? Mm -hmm. So put it in here, and we're just going to zoom it around a little bit. Not a whole lot, you know, I'm not doing it a whole lot. Look at that. So you know what, that's actually a little thinner than I like. You know, I wouldn't mind cut. I wouldn't mind cooking off some of this, uh, some of this liquid. I'm going to go ahead and bring it back up to a bubble, and I'm going to let it uh, cook down a little bit so it's a little thicker. Uncovered. Uncovered. That's a key part of that. Good job, camera girl. So let's just do that. So it's reduced uh, quite a little bit there. It's uh, less wet, but it's nice. It's, it's smooth enough, but it's still chunky enough for me, you know, because I like it to be a little chunky. You could go ahead and smooth it out even more. Or you could smooth it out less and make it uh, even less chunky than that. Can you go back any further, camera girl? Ah! <laughs> then we've reached the fridge. And one of the reasons I wanted to let it cook down a little bit is because I'm going to put a smidgen of half and half in here. Just to make it creamy because I like it a little bit creamier. And I'm not putting a lot. Boom. That'll be plenty. But you could add more or less. And you don't even have to do that. But I just like that. When it's a little creamier, when it just has that consistency, when it just lightens up just a little bit. Because that's, that's the way I like my soup. Boom. One last thing. Again, just sort of like with the cream, you don't have to do it. But I'm throwing a little bit of color in here. You know, a little bit of chopped parsley. You know, you could use cilantro. You could use nothing. Anything you want. But I like that, you know, because it is kind of a, a sad looking brown soup. But, you know, adding that little bit of green. Just going to add a nice little bit of color. Make it less drab but it's still gonna taste fantastical with or without the parsley. So that's it, we're not even eating this today. Cause I'm <gasps> thinking ahead, boom. You know, we're gonna go out and eat today. But now we got this soup made and we can have it tomorrow. And you know, this is one of those rare occasions where I made soup in advance. Man, and if you can make soup at least a day before you're gonna eat it, it's just gonna be that much more delicious. So go ahead and give this very simple bean soup recipe a try or any kind of bean soup, you know, take canned beans, a little bit of broth, you know, saute you up some onions, garlic, all that stuff, <laughs> and you know, throw whatever the hell you want in there. Soup is so easy to make. So go ahead and make some soup at home, much better than any soup you're gonna buy anywhere else. You know, give this recipe a try, let us know what you think, and bon appetit. Thanks for watching, uh, subscribing, sharing, you know, after you're finished watching all these videos, you know, then, Go ahead and follow any other dreams you have. It's important to follow your dreams. But it smells really good. You yeah. sure you don't want some now? No, we're going to have it tomorrow. We're going out to eat. You're a cruel man, Buck. You can have a little bit. Aww. Alrighty, a bowl of soup on your computer. You couldn't help yourself. You had to have a little bit today. What's the verdict? Mm. Big thumbs up. Lots of flavor. I tell you that Chipotle was a little hotter than we were thinking it was going to be. I know you're tired of the hot, but you know, <laughs> that heat makes it complete. You complete me. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs>